I'm sure you've heard of Tesla, the car that's taking us to the future. Roads, where we're going, we don't need roads. Tesla wants to sell its electric cars here in Utah, but they're hitting a protectionist wall built around the established car dealerships who don't want competitors selling directly to you and I. Utah law prohibits car manufacturers from owning dealerships. But Tesla is not a dealership, nor does it own one. They are a manufacturer that sells their unique custom-made cars directly to individuals. Representative Kim Coleman sponsored a bill in 2015 to fix this and legalize the direct sales of vehicles. After a passionate plea on the floor of the House of Representatives, she reminded her colleagues of a key provision in Utah's Constitution to which each of them had taken an oath to support, obey, and defend. Please listen to my words of this Constitution. It is the policy of the state of Utah that a free market system shall govern trade and commerce in this state to promote the dispersion of economic and political power and the general welfare of the people. The bill failed 32 to 41. Since the legislator wouldn't fix the law to abide by the Constitution, Tesla has taken their battle to the Utah Supreme Court arguing that the current law violates a free market. Attorneys for the state disagree. Utah Solicitor General wrote in a brief that, Tesla argues it has a constitutional right to sell cars any way that Tesla prefers. But that's not the law, no matter how strenuously Tesla tries to cloak its preferred business plan in constitutional garb. That's right. The government and your tax dollars are defending a cronious law that prevents competition and benefits the politically powerful car dealerships. Forbes magazine repeatedly ranks Utah as being the best for business, but there needs to be an asterisk on that award, making clear that it only applies to businesses that don't threaten an entrenched industry. Elected officials throughout the state pay lip service to the free market. Their words ring hollow until Tesla and other companies like them can sell directly to Utah customers without interference from bureaucrats or dealerships. For Libertas Institute, I'm Michelle Aiden.